Hello and welcome to this video presentation. My name is Paul Brett. I'm a senior software support analyst supporting ITX. Today's topic is using the Apache Kafka adapter with ITX 10.03. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at Paul Brett IBM and get notified about new content on my YouTube channel. So, here we are at my um, machine and the first thing we're going to need to do um, is run a Zookeeper instance. So I'm going to go to the place where I downloaded Zookeeper and I've done the required configurations. Um, there are various videos on the internet on how to install Zookeeper and Kafka so I won't go into those. But I will just um, click this uh, batch file that I've created here called Start Server and that starts my Zookeeper instance for me. So the next job is to start the Kafka server itself. Once again, various videos on the videos will tell you how to install Kafka. I've just created myself a little batch file here to start the server. And that is that, I believe. Okay, if I go into the bin directory, and then into the Windows subdirectory. I've created two batch files, one called start consumer and one called start producer. Now the consumer will listen for a message and the producer will obviously produce them. So let's start the producer first, which opens a window called producer for me, and will produce messages for the topic test. And then back to Explorer and I'm going to start the consumer window. Let's get that one out of the way for the moment. So here we have our consumer and our producer. So any message I type in this window, hello, appears in the consumer window. So this set of uh, this pair of windows, the producer and the consumer, shows me that I have my Kafka installation completely working and I can proceed on to the next step, which is using ITX Design Studio 10.03 as a producer. Here we are at the ITX 1003 Design Studio and as you can see I have one project called Apache Kafka. Within that project I have a map source file called test.mms. This uses the type tree called generic.mtt which contains a simple text item infinite length text blob. Let's have a look at the source file. Within the source file I have two maps, one called Produce and the other one called Consumer. So we're going to concentrate on the Produce map. The input card is reading, a um, reading from the echo adapter and I've got a string, this is my message from ITX. The output card is using the Apache Kafka adapter and I've specified the server and the topic as well as the trace options in verbose mode. OK, before I build and run this, we will arrange the screen so that we can still see the consumer window on the right. So let's do that now. Build and run. The map has completed successfully. And on the window on the right, you can see this is a message from ITX. So there we go. We have Design Studio running a map called Produce which is being a producer and creating messages on the Apache Kafka environment. Okay, next step, let's just quickly show that the same map can be run from command server. Let's go to my project directory. Let's open a command prompt window here. Move that out of the way, move that out of the way. Let's move the producer out of the way for the moment. OK, so this is just a standard command prompt and open at my um, map directory. If we do a dir of all MMC files, you will know I've got produce.mmc in there. I'm going to prepend to the path the IBM um, transformation extender 1003 directory so that I can pick up the command server. And then I'm going to run the producer map dash bi dash input echo one s fourteen fourteen characters. 
command server. I'm going to send in the string command server, which should be 14 characters long, so this should work. The map has completed successfully, and as you can see in the consumer window, we have the string command server has appeared. So there we go, that's running the command server to produce the map to send data to the Apache Kafka environment. What about on the consumer side? Well, the command server can be used to consume a map, but you have to kick off the map before the map is uh, before the message is ready on Kafka, and then the map has to sit around in a in a waiting state, waiting for the message to turn up, and it's not really what command server was designed for. So in this particular instance, we would use the launcher, and we would have a map, and in this case, we'd have a map called consumer, and we would set it as a watch. And that's the thing I'm going to be demonstrating in the next section. I fired up my integration flow designer and I've dragged my consumer map onto the canvas. I'm going to float my map over the, um, actually no, I'm going to right click and bring up the launcher settings for this map. Um, output, expand all. Okay, so that writes to output.txt every time it's called. Let's expand all of input. Here is my Apache Kafka adapter and my connection command. I've got dash server again, I've got dash topic again, the same as the producer. I've also decided to put in a client ID, which I've called launcher, and a group ID, which I think is mandatory, called group one. I've still got my tracing options in there. Okay, so, um, oh sorry, one other thing I should have showed you in there, uh, expand all. I've actually gone into the source event section and switched this on. So when I deploy this particular integration flow design to the um, launcher service, every time a message is detected um, that matches the requirement, uh, the map should uh, execute. As you will see from the settings, it's designed so that every time it executes, it's going to create a unique um, audit log. Okay, so let's bring up the map directory again. I'm going to remove all current audit logs just to show you those coming in. Okay, so we've got no audit logs in there at the moment, so let's minimize that for the moment. Um, I'm going to run my deploy script, which copies the uh, MSL, which is the def definition of uh, this file uh, compiled, um, over to the launcher, and that's done. And then I'm going to start the service. I've got my um, launcher monitor running here. Um, the services, let's start that up. Okay, the service reporting has started. The launcher monitor has just burst into life saying that I've got one watch. And every time a map executes, we should see a little green dot appear on this um, scrolling uh, black area here. Before I um, kick off anything, I'm just gonna go into the logs subdirectory and show you the compound system.txt file. Um, edit you will note the Kafka uh, connection string is listed as the only watch for input one of this map, the only map that's actually there, and the startup for the launcher is listed as successful. So this is good news. Let's move the logs out of the way. Now I can produce a message that will kick off the um, launcher uh, using a variety of methods. For example, I can go into my producer window here and type in producer And over in the consumer window, which we've left running, the consumer has picked up the word producer, but also down here, it's not entirely clear whether it will be clear on the video, but there's a green dot there that I'm floating my mouse near, and that indicates that the map has executed as well. You can have multiple consumers against uh, a topic, and I've got two here, the consumer window and the launcher. Back in my map window, you will note that there is one audit log, and if we open that, you will note the connection string is listed, uh, the success for the card, the map completed successfully with a map return code of zero. That basically wrote to a file called output.txt, and if we double click on that to open it, it's got the word producer in there. So that's great, the map looks like it's picking up um, messages every time we produce them from the producer console. But, you know, any, any producer producing a message will create the same message. So for example, if we was to use the command server, uh, we'll open our command server window again, prepend the um, WebSphere TX1003 directory, run the command server, 
Uh, let's spell that correctly. DMA SV64 produce uh, star MMC dash BI. Um, I'm not going to bother overriding the input, so I'm just going to move that out of the way. This is uh, the command server producing a message. Once again, the consumer window also shows a message, but the launcher has kicked off again and shows a small green thing here. Back in the project directory, there's another log has been produced. Uh, I can tell from the timestamps that this second one's the latest. Uh, map completed successfully. Um, what have we got here? We received 26 bytes. And if we open output.txt, this is a message from ITX, the standard um, string that was compiled into the echo in adapter of card one of my map, my producer map. So there we go. There is Launcher acting as a consumer, uh, running side by side with another consumer, um, also receiving any messages that appear on the Apache Kafka environment that match the correct um, topic. I will be revisiting this topic at some point in the near future as I show you how to use the Apache Kafka adapter with the newer Design Server UI and perhaps also the REST API. I want to thank you for taking the time to view my video presentation today. If you found it interesting and informative, don't forget to hit that like button and maybe subscribe to my YouTube channel. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at Paul Brett IBM. Thank you.